this is the uh, conventional ignition. I'm going to turn up the voltage to a little over 6 volts, 2.4 amps. And it should get a spark. This is my uh, TIG TAC uh, transistor ignition and tachometer circuit. Uh, I just hooked up a uh, LCD display to it with the little adapter there that uses I2C communication. It's a little PIC 16F1825 and uh, not much to it really at this point. And it really is just right now set up for the tachometer. So uh, anyway, I'll show what happens when I turn on the circuit. Okay, so it displays that until you press the button. And then it displays the dwell in milliseconds and the RPM. Uh, basically, it measures the time between the, the time the, the button closes and opens, and that is the dwell. And the time in between the cycles is the time for each revolution, which would be the RPMs. So. You can simulate that by pressing the button and you can see what happens. See it's about 72, 60 RPM with about a 200 millisecond dwell. It's not very consistent but just my finger pressing. Anyway, that's about as much as I have for right now.
This is with the capacitor removed from the output of the sensor. And you can see that the RPM is sometimes okay, sometimes jumping around. And you can probably see that the LED indicating the, uh, the sensor tends to be erratic sometimes. And that's the waveform coming out of the sensor now. See, it's a lot of very sharp negative spikes, and the actual sensor output that should be from the, the sensing of the position is the wider bar on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to sync to it. better on storage mode, you can kind of see it. I should be able to filter that out. Yeah, I have a little filter on the back of the board there. It's a 0.22 microfarad 220 nanofarad capacitor at a 1K in series going to the pick and it looks like it's picking it up uh, a little better and the display looks a lot better it's running pretty slow right now about 20 volts there's about 25 volts in the same place. Actually, the spikes look a little better, but it might be because it's in storage mode. You see, in non-storage, it uh, shows it full logic level. Storage mode doesn't quite show that. So if it's faster sampling, it, it does finally show it. It's really it's a matter of uh, the digitizing error, I believe. Well, definitely it's a lot better. Mm -hmm.